What are some skinny people problems? Clothing never fits properly. Finding pants is a nightmare. At this point, fuck belts. Drawstring pants or suspenders are the only options. If I find pants with drawstring waist and elastic cuffs, I'm sold. Sure, it's baggy, but it also won't fall off my hips or drag across the ground. No boots fit our calves, crying face, any that do cost around $200-$300. When I cuddle, I'm not a spoon I'm a fork. My collarbone or whatever it is forms spikes on my shoulders. Also cold. New pants. Being woken up every night by horrible stomach pain from not eating enough. When people think it is not as hurtful to call someone scrawny as it is calling people fatty. Body dysmorphia. As a scrawny person that really ticks me off cause people constantly point that out and ask why I'm so thin, but why does it bother you so much? And tbh, I eat like a pig and I can't bulk up any weight, but I'm still at odds with people who point it out. It's none of their business, but they don't seem to catch this on. Being skinny shamed and told to eat a second burger yet seen as an asshole when suggesting the shamer abstain from eating theirs and give it to the skinny person instead. People calling you skinny and make you feel awkward is the biggest problem I face on a day-to-day -day basis. Being called skinny. Not skinny anymore but used to be underweight, sitting on hard surfaces hurt my tailbone and hips. I work daycare and children would bruise their foreheads by running into my hip bones. The biggest problem is that I don't retain any heat. If it's cold I can feel that cold clawing at my bones. Being skinny fat. People want to pick you up. They rarely ask permission and just do it. I think this is more of a problem when you're a woman. I learned early on how to lower my weight, not sure how to describe it. To make it harder to pick me up. Also tall, so pants simply do not fit me. Have to, like to, wear suspenders. Shirts long enough to not look stupid are too big, and shirts that fit are too short. From a woman's POV. Girls gossiping and accusing me of having an eating disorder starting in 5th grade, asking me if I was bulimic when I didn't even know what the word or concept meant. Teachers pulling me aside from class and asking me if I had enough to eat or if I had an eating disorder. Again and again. People, both men and women, randomly putting their hands around my wrists and waist whenever they want, they're so tiny, um, personal space, and why is it okay to comment on skinny bodies but not larger ones? Just stop commenting on strangers' bodies. As a woman, you really just can't win no matter what you look like. I got bullied and teased because of how skinny I was slash am. As an adult woman, I get some hate. But many women are teased and bullied no matter what their bodies look like. So we have to be the ones to love our bodies as they are. Also, having trouble finding clothes, belts, watches, hats, accessories that fit. Having to choose from the children's section, or having to pay to have things altered. As a kid my dad put extra holes in my belts for me, and I had a trusty pair of red suspenders that got me through elementary school, which I loved, but did not help me win any popularity contests. Bloating looks like you're pregnant. Skinny shamming. People get angry over fat shaming but don't even bat an eye at skinny shamming. Judging from my skinny friends. Anything below 70 degrees is too cold. I've been told my entire body feels like a dagger. Chronic pain. Haven't seen this one said so ill say it, I'm a big lightweight with alcohol. Other skinny people might differ but a four beers over a couple hours is enough of a buzz for the evening for me, call me. Doctors assuming you're healthy because you're skinny. Thin does not equal healthy. Also, everyone saying that's not a real person about every thin person in the media. I absolutely get that people of all sizes should be represented. But that doesn't mean my naturally slim build is not real. I wish the language around all that would move on to that's not representative of the average person instead of just, show a real woman. Last thing, people openly commenting on my body. Just because you think you're being complimentary, it can still be embarrassing or downright offensive and I am still allowed to be self-conscious about it. 
My buddy's scrawny and he can't float man. Being in water for a minute is like a marathon for him. Trying to fight the skinniness. I've worked out five to six times a week, chugged mass gainers and tried everything else. Any weight I get goes to my gut while my forearms and calves stay pencil thin. I've been, not fat, but plump pretty much my whole life. I had a health scare and lost a ton of weight. 50 pounds. It was so hard to sit on anything without a cushion. It was the worst two years of sitting in my life. NSFW, put pelvic bones grinding hips. It's somehow okay to discuss my weight but if I brought up how big you are, I'm sure there would be a conversation with HR and a swift firing. Wondering at which age your metabolism changes and you have to start thinking about what you actually eat. Finding the right length but never finding the right length with the right waist. I'm cold all the damn time. Being way more susceptible to injury. Got a collapsed lung simply because I'm so long and thin that quick movement irritated my breastplate and rubbed two holes in my lung tissue due to my organs hugging tightly. I'm not even abnormally skinny either, it's so bizarre. Don't even get me started on falling down. You're so skinny. Do you even eat? Why yes, yes I do. People giving themselves the right to comment your body, saying stuff like oh you're so skinny, you probably weight a hundred pounds wet like we don't have our self-esteem problems like fat people. News flash, calling someone skinny is the same as calling someone fat. Do I tell a fat person, oh you're so fat you probably weight 400 pounds wet. No I don't, so give me a fucking break. Your Adam's apple sticks out your neck like a pterodactyl. Fat people feel like it's acceptable to talk shit about my weight right to my face. Iron deficiency is more common in skinnier people so are passing out when you stand up too fast. Being colder than most average people. Shocking but also not. We have a lot of the same issues as plus size people. 1. Can't find clothes that fit properly. 2. Getting stared at. 3. Negative or insensitive comments. 4. Insecurity. I wish people would look at the similarities and unite together against body shaming in general instead of trying to put down each other. Skeptical. Deleted. Being told to eat more because you're a skinny little thing. People telling you you're too skinny. The comment you're so skinny, do you even eat? Like? Of course I fucking eat, in fact I probably can eat more than you. I just have a fast metabolism and it's not my fault I look this way. Don't shame me for being skinny just because you feel bad about yourself. I'm pretty thin but also on the taller side for a girl 5 apostrophe 7. But I wear a size 24 pant. Finding a size half pants with a 30 inch inseam is a nightmare. I'm 33 and want to shop for adult clothes not juniors with dumb words on it. Eat a sandwich. Not skinny but my ass is so flat that no size of pants will ever stay on for some reason. I'm one of those weirdos who prefers hot weather because I freeze to death when it's below 55 degrees. It takes it to be like 72 degrees until I'm comfortable. It doesn't help that I have a condition called hyperhidrosis, which makes me sweat uncontrollably when under pressure slash stress, or slight changes in temperature. Basically, whenever I'm comfortable, I'm sweating. Sitting on hardwood floors becomes painful after about 5 seconds. I always wear socks, no matter what. My feet sweat and my feet will get cold no matter what. Also I'd quote people are saying about swimming issues. I can't swim very fast, and I suppose I exhaust quicker than many of my friends, but I don't have any trouble trying to keep my head above the water. When you start to put on weight you think you're fat. You get told to eat more or you need more meat on your bones. It gets tearing hearing it. I get cold in the winter really easily. Like teeth chattering even when I've got three layers on cold. I have to sleep with a pillow between my knees so my bones don't rub together and start a fire. Wow a list I can make. 1. Being described as having a boyish figure 2. Being pregnant and having to eat all the time to maintain weight. 3. Maintaining weight 4. 
being hated firstly by other women 5. Then by mothers due to their ability to lose gained weight 6. Finding interesting rebuffs to comments about anorexia and bulimia 7. Shrugging off shitty skinny comments. Stiffening the spine when one farts so as to not fall through one's asshole and hang oneself.